right now. Tell We're me when. get in together. Do you need me to uh, to get my, I know my Facebook's bigger than WLS's. Do I need to get my, my people on I here? No, we probably should have your people on here because it's so much bigger. <laughs> I did I did promote it, so. Yay. Yeah. Well, when you promote anything, that helps us out greatly. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. We're live. Come on. You are pretty. Oh, you're pretty too. I was talking to me. Son of a. <laughs> you know, we don't have FCC laws on here, so we can say whatever we want. Right. Do we have HR laws on here? Can Probably. we say whatever we want? Yeah, since it does carry the name of WLS. Okay, we're getting really close. Yeah. Is that well, we got 18 close? people. <laughs> My eyes are not going to be able name? to read that. You're going to have to. I'll, I'll be able to take care of that for yeah. you. So last weekend, you went up to Eagle River, Wisconsin, and you raced an outlaw car? It's a snowmobile. It is a snowmobile. Yeah, so all my life I've been involved in snowmobile racing. But as you get older, mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's fast. It's There's some danger involved. And uh, I hadn't done it since 2013. The last time I raced was in the, the year of 2013. And that year I won in Ironwood, uh, Wyoiga, Wisconsin. I Ironwood is in Michigan. Eagle River, which is considered the biggest one of them all. Okay. Uh, we won in Anago, and we won in a town called Lake Hokum. So it's safe to say that you're a snowmobiling champion. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, what are you doing this weekend? This weekend, I race a, uh, it's it's a outlaw. It's called an Eagle River Outlaw. Eagle River and, outlaw. and if you're a fan of, of dirt car racing or sprint cars, it looks mm -hmm. like a, what they would call a midget car. Okay. And it's set up with a traditional skis in the front, track in the back, but it's wider, and it takes on the appearance of, of a sprint car almost. And for a guy like me, it's a little bit safer than going out there and racing with these guys, the champ racers race. These are the pinnacle of the pinnacle, the champ racers. And uh, there's a guy out of West Chicago named Gunnar Stern, who's one of the best in the world. He'll be up there racing. Gunnar, cool, cool yeah, racing. Yeah, really cool name. name. <laughs> um, but this is this is a vehicle that, that, if you drive it right, will do probably, at Eagle River, 85 to 90 in the straights. And then you drift it into the corner... And the deal is, the, the best way to get around Eagle River is you try to bring it in mid-level to low on the track if your sled can handle, and then you get and you exit you exit lower and while everybody else goes high, and that's where you make your gains. Nice. So I think we'll be all right. The first time I got in this was last week, and it was something to see how to drive it. And, I mean, people are like, so how many, you know, how many laps have you had? And I'm like, well, I, I none. But two yeah, last I just, week. I just it got in it, week? and it was fun, and, and we're going to be all right. I think we're I think we're going to have a good finish. Now, how long in distance is the race? I believe Eagle River is a I want to say it's a half to five eighths mile track. I should know, but it's ten laps. Okay. So and and it's ten. I mean, it's just excitement, and it's I mean you are so bound up, man. You're just ready to go because you never know what's going to happen. Whether you're going to slide up into the wall or if somebody else will get into you. So it's not what you know. There's no other radio guy in Chicago doing this because so, because radio guys they just can't do this kind of thing, but I can. Speaking of bound up and having to go, um, they, <laughs> this isn't long enough like the NASCAR races. No, or the no, car races. no. You know what they do in NASCAR, right? No, the I don't. The biggest what race I've ever do? been in was a uh, was a 50 mile uh, short track car race, and oh. uh, yeah, because I sometimes I, I've raced cars in my past too. And when those guys have to go, they go. They go. Yeah, they've got a lot of suits. Are there like tubes or anything? No, you just go. That's something I've always wanted to know. It's just like, see, it's not like when you're driving on a long distance and you're a guy and you're by yourself and you, you keep a cup in your car. <laughs> you use an old Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> How did you get into racing? Um, my dad um, bought our snowmobiles when I was a kid. I think I was, we were doing a model train for me when I was just a kid. You weren't even, a, you weren't even around, Jen. But it was in 1973, and I was just a little boy, and my dad and I were working on a mo model train in my basement. It was our it was our project, and all of a sudden we're down in the basement. And I was just a, I was I, I don't know eight years old, and I hear this noise and uh, going around the house. And my dad's like, "What the hell is that?" And a bunch of the neighbor lunatics went and bought snowmobiles. Uh -huh. So when they did that, my dad had to have one, and I think I started riding a snowmobile by myself when I was nine. And my mom would go crazy because I would go around the house, just drive circles around the house. And this was out in West Chicago. Now you're talking about, you know, 77, 78 when we had good winters. And I would just drive, <laughs> I would just drive around the house. And, of course, being a radio guy, uh -huh. I would announce to myself that I'm winning. Oh, you know, yes. I'm, I, and, and I would always, you know, I would always win on a, like a last second pass or, uh -huh. you know, last lap pass. And and uh, and then I just, I really never had the chance to, to get out and do it because... My dad was a, uh, you know, he had his own construction company, and he was just starting to get going, and we didn't have a ton of money, 
Um, and racing costs a lot of money. That's one of the questions I had. Do you have to be rich to do this? No, but the way I'm doing it. And like I the way give, you're doing it. i got to give a little shout-out to this guy. His name is Bob Richardson. Bob. Hi, Bob. Bob it, it owns a, a company called Eagle Outlaws. They make one of the chassis. And mm-hmm. from what I can tell, just based on his success, because he always wins. And he's very good at driving this kind of snowmobile. Now, if you put he and I on a conventional snowmobile, I beat him. Oh really? Yeah, really? I, would, I know I would, but it's not this, a challenge, Bob. No, this is what he would. This is what he does, yeah. and and uh, you know, so he's got this beautiful state of the art hauler. It's, uh, I think it's probably close to a fifty foot trailer, oh. and up front we've got uh, almost uh, what you would call a living quarters, um, where you know Bob's wife and 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 you know she's got food all set up, and we hang out up there and we can relax. He's got a crew of guys working on the sleds to make sure they're right, and probably has. I can't imagine the hundred of, hundreds of thousands of dollars he has invested into this. But if you wanted to go racing this way and and you just wanted to start, you need some help. You need somebody that knows what they're doing. And just to buy the sled in and get it right, you probably need twenty five thousand dollars. Huh? Wow. Yeah. Give me an idea. You? Give me an idea. You know, for a nice for a nice consumer snowmobile, you're talking ten to twelve. Okay. So. Yeah. Here's Pretty what pricey. it is. Some people spend their money on drugs. <laughs> this is the drug, the adrenaline. It is. It's it's so cool. You know, I mean, I, I like to, you know, like you, you like to you mm-hmm. like to run. I when do. there's when there's competition and you I mean there's there's anxiety leading up to it because you know, you know the people. I'm sure there's probably people you run with, you know, on the same basis and you want to have your 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 PB, personal best, and you want to beat the guys you race with all the time. Now, I don't know a lot of these guys yet. And I'm not going to do this a whole bunch because it takes too much time away from my kids. And it's my a kids. little far away. You know, but I have a house up there. That's you see? true. So I, I spend a lot of time up there in the woods. But uh, it, you could do it for, I'm sure you could do it by a used sled and probably get by at about fifteen, sixteen thousand 16000 a year to do it. Huh. The way we're doing it, it's a little over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's very pretty. But you, you know. And you're racing on straight ice, right? Straight ice, yeah. Straight what they do ice. is they, and this, this Eagle River track is, I mean, for a guy like me, I, I never thought, you know, and I'm sure it's the same way for for the young man I talked about earlier uh, out of out of West Chicago, a guy named uh, Gunnar Stern. You know, for us being fans, this is like this is like racing in Daytona. Is it too much on me? No, no, no. I was just it was too much on them. This is like racing at Daytona if you're a car guy. Oh. And uh, we've had some former champions from Illinois. Greg Goodwin from Zion, Illinois, is, okay. a, is a past champion. I can't see the comments. Yeah. Hi, Dan. They're saying that. That yeah. they love you. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Dan. Hi, Janet and <laughs> Justin. So it's fun, you know. I mean, I find, you know, sitting in a, in a radio studio, uh-huh. sorry, man, it's just not enough action for me. Mm. You know, I can't sit. I hate Even to next sit. to Big John? He's a pretty active guy. He keeps <laughs> me going. He's going to be up at the gym with me later on today. He asked me to reserve him an elliptical. I think we have another Facebook Live when that happens. Yeah. yeah you okay. mentioned your mom earlier. Is there anything that she says to you before you go into one of these races? My mom... My ex-wife, um, my girlfriend, they hate too. this. They hate this. They do? They, they, they my, yeah. They, they, because, I mean, there's a, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a risk factor. Um, two weeks ago, and then this is different than what we're racing. We're racing something that actually has, you sit in it. It actually has a steering wheel. So it's very much like, people, some people call them a go-kart on the okay. snow. And there's a cage. There's a roll cage. And the joke is, among the real racers, some guys don't like these. They don't think it's... It's they, they think it's not enough like a real snowmobile. Oh. Um, and they, there's an old joke out there that says, with age comes a cage. Okay. And I'll tell you what, man. I don't think... It would be hard for me to get back on what they call a, a Snow Pro IFS um, champ type sled again. Because it's a young man's game. And now the IFS is what you won in 2013. Huh? Yeah, that that, that okay. was a, 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 a they, it was a smaller class, 250. Okay. But did you see that video? I did see the yeah. video. I can share it with all of you guys in a little bit from when Ray, Ray won back in 2013. Pretty cool video. Very cool. Video. Things screaming coming down the front stretch. The, this is so neat to find yeah. out that you do this. I, I really think that everybody wants to see it featured a little bit more. It's it's a lot of fun. I mean, you know. But I didn't see at the end when you win. Do you pour milk over your head? No beer. Beer. Right oh. in the no. Uh, it's funny because up there, you know, you have to understand this is this is a big deal in a small town. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the scope of snowmobile racing, it's a big deal. This winning this is people that are snowmobile people. This they wait all their life to win this, you know. And then there's several classes that, that you can win. Mm-hmm. I happen to win the 250 IFS class, and I never thought I would win. I just went out to have fun. And uh, the guy that built my snowmobiles is a guy named T.J. Patrick. Okay. Um, and if you, you don't know T.J., you know his daughter. Her name's Danica. Oh. 
So, yes. So uh, she pours uh, milk on her head, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and and I'm I I had known about Danica since she was a little girl. You know yeah. how this girl could wheel a golf cart, and I heard about her dad, who was just this fierce lunatic competitor and staunch Donald Trump supporter. Even I am a liberal compared to this guy. <laughs> Um, he, Don't say that too loud. I know. And, and, and this guy's just... Uh. So he built my stuff, and we went racing together. Uh -huh. And uh, for the first couple of races, he would just berate me and tell me, you drive like a... I can't even say. He's like, you're slow. You don't... You know, you, you got you to gotta drive it in faster and harder. And we actually got into a fight one time at... Uh, at the start finish line, I was actually going out to practice at Eagle River. Oh, really? And he yelled at me, and I went out. I was so mad at him, I was so pissed off. I went out, and I and and I came back in, and he goes, "That's how you drive it." Aww. And the next day, we went out and we won the thing. So, let's see if we got any questions here. Uh, can we have a Facebook Live video with Jen dying race hair purple? <laughs> Yours would grow out a lot quicker. Yeah, I'm getting this cut today. It's too long. Hey, Lars, what's up, buddy? Oh, <laughs> that is Lars. Hi, Lars. <laughs> Yeah, I think that uh, we, we should do that and have it exclusive with Lars. Yeah, I got to do something with this because the gray is coming in, man. Yeah. I usually cut it cut it tight so you don't really see it that much, but it's I'm losing the battle. It's fine. <laughs> I'm trying. As far as radio people go, please. Uh, oh, what kind of prizes do you win? Believe it or not, I believe in this race there's a five thousand dollar first place win <gasps> purse. Ooh. So what that means? Does that mean you go to Disney World? No. Oh. That means that every guy on the track is going to be driving like a jackass. Mm. It, 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 you know, and and really for me, it's not I, it's not about money. I make my money working working radio and uh, and uh, doing commercials, which I need more of. Uh, but no, nah, but you know, there's guys that don't have a lot of money that do, do. When you spend a lot of money on racing, uh -huh. and you know, like for for Bob, my team owner, <laughs> this guy could use that money so he could put something back in his bank account. Yeah. For yeah. me, I just like going out there, having the experience. I don't want to get in anybody's way. Which is hard to do when you're out front, and uh, you know, I just you know, good run. I just it's cool to be able to still do it. So I never thought after 2013 because I just wanted to win Eagle River and walk away, which I did. Mm -hmm. And now for some stupid reason, I'm back. For a great reason. It's a lot of fun because we're going to share it with all of you. That's How right. do we see this? Um, I believe this weekend it's on, and I know you love this name because I've told you this before. Ditch Banger TV. Ditch Banger. Yeah, D I T C H Ditch Banger TV. I'm pretty sure if you download the app, okay. there's no cost. You can watch it on your smartphone. You can watch it on your computer. Um, the racing action is absolutely ridiculous. And if you have a chance to go up there, it's pretty cool because Eagle River, Wisconsin, this time of year, I mean, everybody down here hates the winter yeah. because what can you do here? We're, we're in the city. We it messes flushed. up traffic. We, you know, it doesn't last. You know, mm -hmm. It covers up your dog poop, and that's about it. <laughs> but up there, it, you know... It's just a cool way of life. I mean, mm -hmm. winter is going on in full swing up there. It'll be going on probably till April. And uh, I, I just can't stand staying in Chicago on, on my winter weekends. And uh, in the summer, I'm up there fishing, and uh, probably competitively this year, with my son. And Because uh, we can't just do anything. It has to be, you know. It has to be competitive. Balls to the walls is what we say. So, sorry. That's okay. Or whatever you have to the wall. Boobs to the walls. There you go. Oh gosh, we just did that on WLS. You did feed. that. I'm sorry. I know. After filling in for John the last couple of days, I'm sure WLS listeners are shocked. It's been fun. Who's this guy? <laughs> He's been great. <laughs> Who the hell is this nut? But then tomorrow we're back to the other side of things because it'll be John in the driver's seat. Ostensibly, and... we're talking about President elect Trump. And he's going to be out doing some epic stuff in Eagle River, Wisconsin. Uh. So I will keep you updated on social media as to what Ray's doing this whole weekend so we can watch all of those races. And you can follow me on uh, Ramblin' Ray is my Facebook, Ramblin' Ray 890 on Twitter and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna call in I'll call in to John and uh, these knuckleheads over here Bob and Marianne want me to uh, to say hi to and tell him what's going on so I'll, I'll do that as well yeah I should call Steve or I haven't been on Steve Dahl's show yet that's because we're never awake when Steve's on I, you know but I, I go to bed I, I should probably stick around and go be on the show with him man I love that guy he is awesome he saved me from uh, from radio back in the day when it was horrible then he showed up I was like Woo. saved you from radio but you're here yeah now I'm saving it for you. <laughs> One radio station at a time. Yeah, wow. Well, thanks for joining <laughs> us for uh, this morning talking with Ray Stevens. If and... I win, I'll dye my hair purple. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Is that a promise? It's a promise. Yes. I hope you win. I got a good sled, too. Good so. Good yeah. Good <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't cut it today because it will be short. Because when I take my helmet off, uh -huh. I want it to still look good. You know, you don't want to have helmet hair. I don't think your hair is going to look good. And I'm the only guy in, in northern Wisconsin race that has all my teeth.
for now. I'll probably get in a fight this weekend and get them knocked out. Don't get in a fight. <laughs> Just don't say anything bad to people and you won't get your teeth knocked All out. Right. All right. Well, thanks. We're done. Out. <laughs>